Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Baker and this is December 2015's Lucky Tackle Box. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got inside this month. All right, we'll go ahead and take everything out here. Quite a few items in this month's box. Okay, so each month, of course, with the subscription box, you get the uh, Lucky Tackle Box sticker. Uh, this month it's a square sticker, it's blue and white. Uh, you also get a gift card that's got a, a code on here to get $5 off your Tackle Warehouse order. Uh, let's see, you also get the Lucky Tackle Box card. On one side it's going to describe their, con their monthly contest and this month, uh, like last month, is um, you take a photo of you and your Lucky Tackle Box, uh, post it on Facebook or Instagram, and use the hashtag Lucky Tackle Box. And the winner can uh, will receive a uh, dial rod worth a hundred dollars. And on the other side of the card, you've got each indiv each individual item that comes in the box, uh, along with a description on how to use each item, uh, the manufacturer's website for each item, and also uh, a recommended MSRP for each individual item. And also this month, you also got a little sample pack of Cordy Balm, uh, Dr. Dan's lip balm. And right away, I can tell you, I see a couple items, uh, little bonus items in this month's box, which is not actually listed on the card. Uh, one is this uh, Lucky Tackle Box koozie. It's a blue and white koozie with their, uh, their logo on it. And then also, it looks like they brought back this Buddha Bait Snooze Alarm Buzz Bait. It's a 3 8 ounce buzz bait. I'll go ahead and open it up for you. Uh, once again, this is a, looks like it's a bonus item. It's not listed on the card. And if I remember correctly, uh, they had the same buzz bait. I believe it was in September's uh, box. And I believe the MSRP on this buzz bait was about $6. And uh, I did catch a couple fish with this uh, buzz bait uh, when I got it in September. It's not my favorite buzz bait. Personally, it's not one of my favorites, but uh, it worked pretty well. Uh, so nice uh, little extra bonus in this month's, uh, I guess you can call it the Christmas uh, box this month. Okay, so one thing that kind of catches my eye that is on the card is this uh, Rick Rick Clune Class Classics. It's a suspending jerk bait. Uh, let's see if it's got some uh, specs on the back of it. it. Doesn't say the weight of it here, or the size, or the color. We'll go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. <clears throat> So it's a three hook, three treble hook uh, suspending jerk bait. It's kind of got a, a silver, kind of almost rainbowy pattern on the sides. On top, it's kind of a, a dark purple, maybe almost like a, a black color. And on the bottom, it's kind of got an orange color to it. Uh, it doesn't say how, how deep it suspends. Uh, let's see if it says it on the description here. It doesn't say, but the MSRP for this uh, jerk bait uh, is $6.99. Uh, let's see if it's got some rattles to it. it does have a couple rattles to it. So size-wise, I'd say it compares similar to maybe the Lucky Craft uh, Pointer 100. So I'm guessing it probably gets down to maybe about uh, anywhere between five and seven feet. That's just a guess. Again, I don't have the, the specs on this. It doesn't say on the packaging or the description, but looks like a pretty good um, jerk bait. Uh, again, it's got three treble hooks and, and a little knockers inside. Uh, next up is this, uh, let's see here, Cabin Creek uh, Small Salty Spider Parts in Green Pumpkin and Blue Copper. Uh, MSRP for these guys is $10.79. Go ahead and open this up here and show you what we got inside. So it's something pretty interesting and I haven't seen really or fished with anything like this before. So basically you get two different parts of uh, bait. You get a small kind of a, a dual flappy tail or dual crawl tail, a little small body. And then you have a little head, which you can use, uh, um, the, they call their spider. It's kind of a, looks almost like the uh, skirt off a jig. So you can fish these probably separate or together. Um, first thing I think of is uh, fishing them together on a jig, 
put them together on a jig or maybe a, a shaky head. Um, those are kind of the the ways I would probably try to fish these. Uh, it's just, it, Together it's still a pretty small bait, so putting on a jig or a shaky head would probably still work pretty well, especially in the winter time. Uh, it's a little, looks like a pretty good finesse bait. Um, I haven't, uh, again, I haven't fished anything like this, so I'll be looking forward to fishing it. Unfortunately, as I've mentioned in a few of my other videos, uh, my uh, the waters around here that I usually fish are frozen or closed. So uh, fishing these uh, lures are gonna have to wait till the spring season until uh, March 1st when some of the um, uh, the reservoirs around here open back up for fishing and hopefully uh, some of the, the ice starts to come off of it. So uh, these are pretty interesting. Again, these are the uh, Cabin Creek Small Salty Spider Parts. All right, next up we got a pacemaker football jig. MSRP on this guy is $4.79. Uh, the weight on this is a one half ounce. And let's see if it lists the color on it. Color looks like a green pumpkin color. Yes, it is a green pumpkin. Half ounce football jig. Uh, there you can see the, the head of the jig on the bottom. It's flat, so it'll help stand up when it uh, reaches the bottom. Uh, it's got a pretty good bristle reed guard. Hook's pretty good size and thickness, so it looks like a sturdy hook. Um, and it's a half ounce, so, you know, I, jigs are just great to fish pretty much all year long. Uh, football jigs are great because you can fish them a couple different ways. Uh, my favorite way to fish it is to kind of drag it on the bottom and then uh, a few hops here and there. And a lot of times, dragging it in the bottom will get the fish's attention and that little hop um, that you, you kind of throw in there with the drags will um, cause that fish to uh, give a reaction strike to it. So, uh, once again, this is a great color. Green pumpkin uh, is my favorite color to fish with in terms of uh, jigs um, and soft plastics. Uh, black and blue is my other favorite color, especially with jigs. Um, those two are my favorite colors for jigs, so I'm really excited. This looks like a really good jig to fish with. Uh, once again, this pacemaker, pacemaker football jig, is uh, MSRP is $4.79. Uh, next up, we got some hula sticks, green pumpkin hula sticks from Z-Man. And these MSRP for three, let's see, three ninety nine. You got one, two, you got four in here. And let's see here, a little greasy, not much of a uh, an odor to it, but it does have some salt to it. So it's basically your it looks basically like your uh, just generic stick worm or cinco worm, and it's got a, a four. Let's see, four, yeah, four little tentacles on the back, um, kind of like a. A hula popper, I guess you could say. So it gives a little, maybe a little different action. Uh, you probably can fish this just about any way you would fish a regular um, a Cinco worm, wacky rig it, Texas rig it, um, uh, Nico rig it even. Uh, and even on the packaging, it actually says, have you tried the Ned rig? Uh, which is uh, really interesting too. Ned rig basically is you cut down uh, some of this, um, this weight and make it shorter and you fish it on a jig and just let that kind of sit in the bottom. And it's supposed, supposedly uh, does really well in the cold months when the fish aren't quite as aggressive. Uh, I haven't tried that technique yet, um, but it's something maybe I'll try uh, maybe once the spring comes uh, back around and the water's still a little cold or maybe next fall, uh, early winter, I might try the Ned rig. But um, personally looking at these, I think the first thing I'd, I'd try is probably um, a Nico rig. I'd probably, it's like basically, which is a, like a wacky rig style, but with a nail weight in front. So it kind of gives it a more diving action, more uh, instead of just coming down um, kind of flat, it gives it kind of a uh, head first kind of uh, descent into the water. So uh, nice looking bait. Uh, the size on that is four inches. And again, it's green pumpkin. And these hula sticks from Z-Man go for $3.99. And again, there's four in a pack. All right, and let's see here. Actually, it looks like a, there's another uh, item that's I missed that is not in the, uh, let's see here. Actually, it is listed on the, um, on the card. It's uh, listed with these spider parts from Cabin Creek. Actually, here is the jig heads that go with it. I'll go ahead and take one out so you can kind of see what they look like. And these looks like they're one eighth ounce jig heads. We'll go ahead and um, take one out and maybe rig one up for you so you can kind of see maybe what it looks like. So what you would take uh, this, uh, this one eighth jig head. Um, there's the spider head and here's the, the body. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and rig it up so you kind of see what it looks like here. And it's got a hole right in this, um, this spider body there to kind of to easily hook through and push through. And then just uh, 
just rig this up like any other soft plastic to a jig. There, kind of give you something, something like that. So I'll give you a little presentation like that. There we go. And so last on the card, and last in the box, is these um, Ultra Point No Twist Shot uh, hooks here from Mustad. These are drop shot, no twist drop shot hooks. And we'll go ahead and take one out here. And I don't do a whole lot of drop shotting. I've tried it a few times and, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy power fishing and, uh, and drop shotting is not my favorite way to fish, but that's probably something I'm going to work on in the next uh, fish, uh, upcoming fish season. Try to work on some of the techniques I don't really do much and try to get better at. So let's see if I can go ahead and get this here. So this is a little drop shot hook. Uh, there's five in the pack. And these are size four, and MSRP on these hooks is $4.49. As you can tell, it's got a, um, a little barrel swivel on this hook. And what you would do is on one of, on one of these is you would tie, I'm guessing with the, uh, the, the end with the barrel swivel, you tie uh, this end to your, um, to your fishing line. And then the bottom part would come out to your trailer, down to your weight. Uh, and that will hold, help keep the... Um, the line from tangling up and also help keep the hook um, in the right position there. So nice little hook. Uh, definitely we'll try that out next time I go drop shot fishing. Once again, there's uh, these are size four hooks and there's five in a pack and these MSRP for four four forty nine. So let's see here. So what we got is um, we got this Rick Glenn series uh, crankbait, which is six ninety nine in the box. Uh, you've got together uh, this um, spider head jig. Uh, let's see here it is the spider head jig and the spider parts from Cabin Creek and those are MSRP for 1079 uh, for both those items uh, you've also got the pacemaker football jig which is 479 you've got the hula sticks from Z-Man which is a uh, four pack for 399 and then you've got these Mustad uh, drop shot hooks these uh, ultra point no twist hooks and there was a uh, those are size four, and there's five in the package for $4.49. And we got a couple of uh, extra items in the box this month. The Lucky Tackle Box uh, koozie. Uh, we've also got the, uh, let's see, that is the uh, Buddha Baits uh, Snooze Alarm Buzz Bait. Uh, we've also got the, the lip balm and, of course, the sticker. So overall, great box for December. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go out and uh, fishing with them since, uh, again, it's uh, frozen and, um, and some of my uh, local waters are closed. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to trying all these out in the spring. So hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, uh, just drop those down in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fishing videos, uh, unboxing videos, and some gear review videos. Once again, this is Jeremy Baker. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll talk to you soon.